Hey players, according to Malcolm Gladwell, it takes 10,000 hours to master any skill. Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you the four stages you must go through when it comes to learning how to tackle any challenge that comes your way. This theory is known as the four stages of competence model, often attributed to Abraham Maslow. No matter what you're trying to accomplish, you're somewhere on this scale, and today you're gonna figure out where. Whether it's asking out a girl or making big improvements in your life, let's see what stage you're on. The first stage is unconscious incompetence. This is where you're completely unaware that you don't understand something. In your mind, how you approach things has never really been questioned, so you continue to do the same approach over and over. And the amount of time that someone spends in this stage is directly related to how willing they are to accept that they may not know the best way to do something. Think of someone who uses the same opener over and over and continues to fail every time they approach a girl. Or someone that just throws random kicks and punches and claims that they know how to fight. The next stage is conscious incompetence. This is when a person knows that they're doing something wrong, but they just don't know how to solve it. In this stage, you make a ton of mistakes because you're constantly trying to figure out how things work. Rejection and failure are very prominent here, but as you try and try again, you start to move closer to the next one. Imagine someone that's willing to try out different openers and will face rejection because they're trying to learn what's going on. Or the person who realizes that they may not have the best fighting stance, so they're willing to try out different things to learn. The third stage is conscious competence. This is where you know that you know how to do something, but it just takes a little bit of effort. In this case, you may know the specific pattern to get something done, but it takes a little bit of concentration to make sure you perfect it. This is the real training period where you start to hone your skills and truly master them. Think about a person that can easily plan out each step within a conversation to keep it going, or someone who can master a one-two combo as long as they do it within a sequence. And the fourth stage is unconscious competence. This is where you don't even have to think about what you're doing, you simply know how to do it. In this case, you've practiced so much that it's become second nature to you. And at this point, you're moving into the stage of teaching others how to do it. Think about a person that doesn't even worry about openers, that can just naturally have a conversation flow by itself. Or someone on a Bruce Lee level where punching is no longer punching, now it's like moving through water. What do you guys think though? What skill do you want to learn and what stage of it are you in? Leave your comments below so we can talk about it. You can never call yourself a master until you can call yourself a teacher. For a jack of all trades is a master of none. The early bird catches the worm, but the second mouse gets the cheese. Practice makes perfect, and I can guarantee that one day you will master that new skill. As always guys, love and peace. Hey, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I make new videos every week on a range of different topics, including self-help, dating, philosophy, and more. Plus, if you want exclusive stories and tips that I don't share in my videos, make sure to sign up for the Josh Speaks newsletter. The link will be in the description below. And a shout out to Asian Assassin Guy. I talked to him one-on-one -on -one last night on Skype. He was the one that won the Josh Speaks contest. So if you also want to speak to me on Skype and video chat, just sign up for the newsletter below so you can find out when the next Google Plus Hangout is going to be.